Now, once you have logged in, in your GitHub account, this is what you will see. Not the exact stuff. Example, in your, here you can see we have two popular repositories. Now, if your account is new, you will not see this option. Now, I'm using this account from, a, from some time. So, I got these two repositories here, which I created. And if you can see, there's a green symbol there. That is my activeness on GitHub. Uh, how, many, how many contributions I have, I have done. And you can see some fancy stuff here. Let's not, let's not go there. Now, if you want to work with GitHub here, the first thing you need is a repository. Now, of course, you will not have any repositories by default. Uh, so you have to create a new repository. You can imagine a repository as a place where you can put your project. So let's create a repository here. And here you will say, okay, Tusk. Now, I will name my repository as Tusk because I love this word, Tusk. And okay, you can add your optional description there, not required in this case. Now, which uh, option to choose, public or private? Of course, we will go for public because to go for private repositories, you have to you have to go for a paid plan. Example, if I click on private, you can see it is asking for your credit card information. I don't want to share that. Let's go for public and initialize this repository with readme. That means you will get a readme file here. Now in this readme file, you can enter some data about your project, about the commits which you are doing, all those stuff. And okay, we'll talk about this later in, in some time. So let's click on this create repository and you will get your repository called as Tusk here. Now can you see that we got your repository Tusk and we also have one, one file here which is readme.md. Now this is a special, special extension which you get .md uh, which, which stands for markdown. Uh, we'll talk about markdown uh, in one of the video. So as you can see, we have some uh, awesome thing here. Now, if you're new to GitHub, you will not, I mean, you will get confused with all these options. Trust me, when I started working on GitHub, I got, I, I used to get confused between these tabs. So once you get some experience, you will get to know what each tab means. Okay, so if you see, we have a code tab here in which you, it will show you your code. The number of commits. Now, what is this commit? We have created that file, remember? Readme file, that is one commit. We'll talk about that. Uh, we'll talk about branch uh, later. We'll talk about contributors later. What I want to do now is I want to create a new file. Now, every time you change something on your repositories, you are doing some commits. Let's create a new file. So when, when you click on new file, now question arises: what new file I will create. Now, of course, we are programmers, right? So we will be creating a file depending upon which language you like. Example, you can write a Java file. You can write a CS file, which is C sharp file. You can write a PHP file. You can create a C file, doesn't matter. Git supports all the files. Now question arises, which, which language I will be using now? I don't want to confuse you. So if you do, if you don't, if you're not comfortable with Java, I don't want to show you Java code as of now, right? We'll do that later. Time in, let's say if you're working with a normal file and the normal file I will create here is called as recipes.txt. Now recipes, why recipes? Because we have one more channel with which is Telisco. Uh, kitchen where we will where we normally create lots of recipes. So let's create a recipe file here. Uh, so here I will maintain all the recipes which we are which we have already done and we are going to do in future. So I will say welcome to Telisco Kitchen. Let's zoom in. So we got welcome to Telisco Kitchen and let's go down and here we'll mention wha what we are doing. So we are simply creating a file which is recipes.txt in which I have added a text. Again, we can add some recipes here. I will enter my first recipe as, okay, what recipe I will create? Maybe, mm, okay, so I will say this is Kheer. Okay, so this is Kheer. Okay, I will say next one is pasta. So I got two, I got these two recipes here. And let's say, uh, what? Uh, recipes file created. So that's my first commit. And you can see that we have one more option, which is create a new branch. We'll talk about that in some time. Let's click on commit new file. I know I'm talking about lots of things which we'll talk later. Trust me, uh, it, it will make more sense once we talk talk about those things later. If I open the my, so we can, can you see that we got our recipes.txt here. If I open that file, it will have something called as welcome to Telisco kitchen and kheer and pasta, right? You, you got your file. Imagine you're working on a project and in your project, this is your current state. You are providing these services. Now, maybe in future, 
you want to update some data. Of course, that's what we do, right? We, when you build a project, you don't build the entire project in one day. It, it takes time, so it, take, it takes time, right? So initially you will write something, then after some days you will write something, after some time you will write something. And after doing all those things, you will get the entire big project. Now, after every work, what you will do is you will say commit, right? So that you're saving your data. That's what we did here. Now, if, if I open recipes once again, this is my current file, right? Now, what if I change something? So after I will edit here and I will say, okay, I want to add some new dishes. So I will say this is chicken fry. So I will add a new dish, which is chicken fry here. And once you have added this, again, I will do the same thing. I will say chicken added. And this on, I will commit on the same branch and done. So I'm committing the changes here. My job is done. You can see we got three uh, recipes here. Now the thing is, what happens, you know, okay, we we'll, uh, let me do one more thing because we forgot to do one thing. At the end, there should be a thank you, right? So I will say thank you. Okay. And I will say regards comment. Now there should be a, a good message, you know, whenever you commit, there should be a good message, which, which should make sense, right? Don't just say uh, the, the, the way I'm doing now. So you can see we got this data here. Now, after some time, you felt, you know, this is this two things we don't need, actually. Maybe our, our, our viewers do, do, don't like non-veg. So maybe we can remove this part. Now, how do I remove this, remove this part? So what we have to do is we have to again click on edit. And then we have to remove, remove, thank you. We have to remove this kitchen fry, right? Or not kitchen fry, chicken fry, <laughs> right? We have to remove that stuff. Or what we can do is we can just go back to the initial state. Now, what I'm saying is, if you can click on code, you can see there's option of comments. You can see that four comments. And if you click here, it will maintain all the versions. Now, this was your first version when you created this file. It was having only README. And in that README, you had nothing, right? Then after some time, you have committed one more one more thing, which is, okay, let me just go to four comments. And here, we have, we got recipes file created. This is your comment. If I click here, you can see we have added this for these three things. We have added welcome to the disco kitchen. We have added this plus and then I mean this, the enter and then key and pasta. This plus means we have added those files, right? And you can see this green means you have added those files. You can see six addition and zero deletion. So six is, I mean, six addition. This is what we have added in your file. Uh, okay, so we want this this state now. Now, how do you go back to this particular state? And you got this state, right? So if you click on view, this is your state. So you can, so when you're working on a project and after, let's say you got a project and after some time you have added some features and those features are giving some issues. Now you want to go back. What you can do is you can just search for the version which you have done and you can go back there. This is the awesomeness about uh, any Git, Git management system, you can use uh, Bitbucket, everywhere you've got the same facility because this is provided by Git. It maintains all your versions, right? So this is an awesome thing. So why, so this is how you can use GitHub. So we have talked about very simple stuff. We have created a file which is recipes.txt. We have added some content and we have, we said we can go back to the previous uh, commits and that's the thing you can do. In the next video, we'll talk about some more stuff, how we can uh, create a branch and why do we need a why do we need to create a branch so that's from this video guys thank you so much for watching and do like if you like this video